So Dennis, tell us, uh, tell us what happened this morning. Well, this morning uh, we had a bit of a rude awakening when we went to our uh, vehicle, uh, tried to start it and uh, it was rather noisy. Found out after bringing it here to uh, McCracken's that uh, our catalytic converter was stolen over the weekend. You say between Friday and Monday? Yeah, yeah, we would have uh, parked it on Friday, I'm gonna say around one o'clock. And then uh, next time we use it uh, normally is, is, is Tuesday. And that's the case uh, of this week. What happens? This is uh, out of commission for a bit? Right, so uh, according again to McCracken's here, uh, it's gonna be uh, uh, end of middle to end of January for a uh, um, manufacturer's part. Um, we can look at getting an out of or off market part, um, but we have to check with the insurance company on that as to uh, which way they want to go. What do you guys do in the meantime? Because this is important. Yeah. So, and of work. course, we're coming up to our busy season, right? To be down and out until January is going to really hurt us. Um, and I also know from uh, trying to get a, uh, a rental vehicle for my own personal use is that rental vehicles are hard to get right now. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're going to have to look at it and, and figure out. We'll come up with a plan somehow, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be using uh, personal vehicles more. Um, you know, if we have to go out and rent. Uh, probably won't be able to rent something this size. Um, so it's going to increase our, our workload, meaning, you know, more trips to, to, uh, to Food for All and to the, to the local grocery stores that we uh, purchase and get donations from. If I say that the more money you guys spend on taking care of the problem the less money that's going to where it's needed right that's taking money out of uh, or taking food out of people's uh out of people's mouths right so it's a, it's sad um how much were you saying the part is so the part itself is uh again according to mccracken's is about four thousand dollars that's the uh, manufacturer's part um luckily we have insurance so uh We'll, we'll see where that goes. But even 500 deductible is still... Well, yeah, we, yeah, we have $500 deductible, so it's going to cost us at least $500. And even that, where does that come from? Uh, again, that's uh, out of our out of our coffers, out of the donations that we get. That uh, Now, I mean, everybody expects money to have to go to our infrastructure, our vehicles and stuff like that, because without them, we can't bring the food in. Um, but you don't expect, uh, <laughs> you know, like I say, the lowest of the low to, for somebody to have to steal from a food bank. Shock? Oh yeah, uh, certainly. Yeah, Every, everybody that I've talked to is just, you know, uh, you know, jaw dropping. You know what's going on, right? So I guess it thieves have no honor. Well, you know, uh, they'll they'll do what they got to do. I guess to to get what they got to do. But uh, you know, like I say, it's 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 pretty bad when you got to steal from a food bank. Dennis, how much is the truck used? If you can tell us a little bit about it. Sure. So the truck is used Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on a on a weekly basis, regular basis. Plus, we're using it weekends on food drives. Um, so we've got another one coming up uh, on the 19th of November. I'll throw that plug in. Um, and Where's then that at? Uh, that's going to be at that's the uh, Big Crammer Cruiser at Walmart and at No Frills. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, I've got I probably got five emails today from. Uh, schools and businesses in the area that are doing Christmas uh, food drives. And of course we go and pick up their stuff as well. Um, so, and, and just as an example on our Tuesday run, uh, we're looking anywhere between right now, four to 6,000 pounds of food that we pick up on a, uh, on a Tuesday. So it's not like we can do it with, uh, you know, with, with, with my SUV or somebody, <laughs> somebody's minivan or, or, or even a pickup truck, you know, yeah. We can do it, but it's going to take us a lot longer to. Uh, That's wild. To, to Tell me about it. that. How much food? Four to six thousand pounds on a Tuesday alone. And where does it go? Like average. again, forgive me. Where does it go from? Like for people that don't know, like myself. Where right. Does it go from point A so, to point B. So, so a lot of it, or I shouldn't say a lot of it, but a, a fair chunk of it, probably about uh, fifteen hundred pounds every week, comes from uh, Food for All, the local uh, uh, county warehouse. Uh, and then the majority of the rest of it is is purchased at one of the local stores, Giant Tiger. Um, who's a huge supporter of us and, uh, and and we buy tend to buy a lot of stuff off of them uh, and then of course we've got our donation pickups at uh, at all the other grocery stores and businesses around town as well so it, uh, you pick up around the area then it comes to your place on Darcy Street correct yeah and yeah. then it gets diverted from there yeah. and then we sort it out and that's the neighbors either come to us or on Thursday we have our delivery program as well which this gets used for our delivery program as well because it's uh, it's so overwhelmed. We're doing 45 deliveries on a 40 to 45 deliveries every Thursday now. So. It's going to be hard to do without, like you say, it's a must to have something like this. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to, we're going to hurt until we figure out how to, 
you know, how to, how to get around it. 